I think it was a pivotal moment because it was like, yeah, dude, if you're rich enough, like this is a turning point. You know what I mean? If you have enough money, all of a sudden you're in a different category in our legal system. He was rich enough. I'm saying it. This is so funny. What a funny way to present this. OJ Simpson, the former champion football running back turned actor who was acquitted in a sensational trial of charges that he murders his ex-wife and her friend, died of cancer, he family confirmed he was 76. We're, of course, going to be talking about that person that dies who has done, like, bad shit uh, and is awful. But, like, I usually do pack wash for, like, truly awful people. OJ Simpson was a truly awful person. But I feel like so much time has passed. It's like double homicide. If, even if he went to jail, he probably would have been out by now. You know what I mean? Even though he escaped legal scrutiny. You think OJ is guilty? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Like he's, he's just not high enough. He's not high enough on the ranking for me. Uh, as far as, um, as far as, as like really bad guys. It, it, like, I, I feel like politicians are way worse. Maybe I'm wrong. doesn't mean that he's a good guy. Definitely a bad guy. Definitely did it. I don't know. Would have been true. His shittiness is concentrated, not widespread. OJ has two bodies. We do pack watch for people whose body counts in the hundreds of thousands usually. Yeah, exactly. He made up for all of his wrongs with his insane social media posting. No, I think that people do have a truly people. OJ Simpson. OJ Simpson is a great example of a couple different American attitudes, even about crime and punishment. I feel like everyone, no matter how draconian they are, do have the capacity to forgive and forget in some respects, as long as the person is interesting and we can make memes about it, okay? And it's just like, people don't give a shit that he literally, you know, chopped the heads off of his wife and the dude she was f um, But yeah, we'll do, we'll, we'll get into it a little bit, obviously. Uh, we'll talk about it. I just don't give a shit uh, as far as like, Oh, in the in the grand scheme of things, he basically turned into a meme, uh, despite the fact that he had literally chopped two people's heads off. Kind of gross that so many people like it wasn't that bad. No, I think it's because like our dude, we cover genocide on a daily basis. Okay, this community is gonna have a very warped sensibility on what is a barrier for like really up shit. When I'm doing a pack watch for Henry Kissinger, I feel ridiculous doing it for OJ Simpson in comparison to a mother like Henry Kissinger. You know what I mean? Henry Kissinger's got bodies. Doesn't mean that you can't celebrate it. Go ahead. You know what I mean? Who gives a fuck? I'm just saying that like I'm more I'm more in like uh eh, who fucking cares type shit. Some important breaking news right now. OJ Simpson has died at the age of 76. Maybe it's because I'm um, ironically Maybe it's because I'm ironically too young to care as well. Like I wasn't in America. I never, it just, I didn't give a shit ever. Um, has more on his life. OJ Simpson soared to fame as number 32 for the Buffalo Bills. I'm sorry for all of it. And plummeted to infamy as inmate number 1027820 in the Nevada Department of Corrections. In between, Simpson led a life filled with more surreal drama than all of his various film and TV projects combined. OJ, are you a Come on, come on. Mass media experts say Simpson's sensational televised low-speed chase. Bro, all I'll say is this. If OJ did that shit while I was Twitch streaming, those streams would have banged, boys. Crime Watch, then Court Watch. We doubled down on that, dude. I was thinking about that this morning. I was like, damn. Damn, I wish we had some OJ type shit right now. You know what I mean? I, would, I mean, there is OJ type shit happening all the time. Gruesome murders all around the planet. But like, you know, just never as televised. Maybe my content brain is out of control. But it literally is like, uh, that is like an entire generation's uh, horror watch with Dev V Heard was so bad, man. Yeah, that was the worst, though. That was like, that wasn't as, as interesting or as unique or had like a major societal impact in that, uh, in that same vein. You know what I mean? This is the most tailor-made TikTok for you I've ever seen. Oh, we've watched this already. You're right though. Anyway, um, let's watch okay, this. Arrest and murder trial. Doesn't fit, you must acquit. Stand as the first reality show and perhaps the greatest three ring television phenomenon ever. 
At one point, the world heard O.J. Simpson's ex-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, say, I don't want to stay on the line. going to beat the shit. Wait a minute. Then later, Simpson was charged with the horrific murders by knife of Nicole and her friend Ron Goldman. Ron and Nicole were butchered. The trial made Lord Bro, honestly, honestly, it's just like O.J. Simpson is a pivotal moment because there's like a racialized component to the to the trial as well, obviously. Famous black man. But I think it was a pivotal moment because it was like, yeah, dude, if you're rich enough, like this is a turning point. You know what I mean? Like black people in this country used to get murdered by mobs because women would lie about them. Uh, women would lie about them looking in their direction. You know what I mean? And then you got, and there's still a shit ton, obviously, of racism and white supremacy in this country. But if you have enough money, all of a sudden, you know, you're in a different category in our legal system. And you can avoid scrutiny to a certain degree. He was rich enough. He literally was rich enough, dude. He was. He had a insane, insane. Your coverage would have been good, but bro, they went after your entire family over the Megan Thee Stallion trial. It's probably a good thing you didn't cover this law. Yeah, I don't give a shit. I still would have done it. Nah, he aligned with the right people in addition to his money. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. OJ came in the wake of Rodney King and the King acquittal played a huge role in OJ's acquittal, but the prosecution screwed the pooch. Yeah. The structures of the state amplify the harm so much that stuff like the destruction of Kissinger are truly incomprehensible. I don't think a lot of people truly comprehend that. Like at that, like at that, the person is no longer causing harm on an individual scale, but entire societies. Exactly. Exactly. Lawyers and even witnesses, household names. Orenthal James Simpson, not guilty of the crime of murder. When the jury freed Simpson, celebration erupted in parts of Los Angeles. But Simpson would never recapture his idol status. Simpson first sprinted into the national spotlight as the Heisman Trophy winning running back at the University of Southern California. Biomart, law tip, the OJ trial is constantly referenced in law school when talking about courtroom advocacy, a legendary masterclass in getting motherfuckers off and how the state's job is mad easy and they're still bad at it, pouring one out today. Yeah, I mean, this dude, this dude was dead to rights. It's just so crazy to me that like people still, people still, oh God, no matter what happens, no matter what happens in any case, you can just always come up with different narratives. It's wild to me. Yeah. Then 11 spectacular years with the NFL vaulted him to the pro football hall of fame. Simpson cashed in on the popularity. <laughs> Becoming we'll talk about the Vietnam tycoon as well, and yes. an actor, becoming well known for the naked gun movies. I gotta pee. O.J. Simpson, as you've never seen him before. Simpson played a lawman on screen and ran into trouble with the courts off screen. He lost the multi-million dollar wrongful death suit brought by the families of his ex-wife and Ron Goldman, then moved to Florida. In 2000, Simpson was accused of assault in a road rage incident in Miami. He was found not guilty. In 2005, he was found guilty and fined for stealing satellite television. Then in 2007 in Las Vegas, police arrested him on several felony charges, including kidnapping and armed robbery. In that case, Simpson and armed accomplices raided a hotel room in what he called an attempt to just get back some of his stolen belongings. And I didn't know I was doing anything illegal. I thought I was confronting friends and retrieving my property. The Nevada jury never bought his story and instead sent him to prison. He was released on parole nine years later in the dead of night with no fanfare and no bright future. Just the distinction of arguably the greatest rise and fall in pop culture history. Thank you, Stephanie, for that report. Uh, once again, we're following the breaking news right now. O.J. Simpson has died at the age of 76. CNN's Gene Casares covered O.J. Uh, for several years uh, and uh, is, is joining us right now. Gene, let's talk a little bit about O.J. Simpson. Go ahead. Well, first of all, there is a tweet that has come out from his family. We do want to read that for everyone. And it says, on April 10th, our father, Orenthal James Simpson, succumbed to his battle with cancer. He was surrounded by his children and grandchildren. During this time of transition, his family asks that you please respect their wishes for privacy and grace, the Simpson family. You know, well, there are, there are really two O.J. Simpsons. 
because one is that football hero that this country adored for so many years. And in Southern California, I think those of us from Southern California. That's crazy that people still act like it's 1997 or some shit. Like, no, man, people know him as the guy who got away with murder. Ain't nobody's thinking about how good he is at the football. Did you ever watch 30 under 30 for 30 made? Wait, no, I haven't. Ooh, M hood. Is that available? 30 for 30 OJ made in America. Hello and welcome to welcome back at the OJ Simpson in the trial of the century. Fun fact, James Cameron wanted the cast him as a Terminator, but didn't think he could play a killer. 30 for 30 OJ story is good. Can we watch it on stream? Cause the thing is like, wow, dude, are you okay? What? I am okay. Why wouldn't I be okay? That 30 for 30 is NSFW. It's amazing, but it's 10 episodes long. You're missing the context. You need to watch OJ Made in America, greatest documentary of all time. Dude, I'll be honest. I don't care about, I don't really care about this shit as much. Like I just, I, the OJ stuff, I didn't really ever care about it at all. I mean, I'll learn about it more. I'll learn more d the details, like, but everything I've read on it, it's just like, eh, you know what I mean? 30 for 30 is ESPN, which is Disney. Why can OG pirate satellite TV, but we can't watch the documentary? I agree. The court was so messy. Marcia Clark was the only female prosecutor and was asked to talk and dress softer to buy a pastel wardrobe so the media would lay off her. It's eight hours long. That's crazy, bro. All right, let's Can you keep believe watching. that we got to know him originally because as a graduate, he graduated from USC, was the Heisman Trophy winner. He was everything to people in Southern California after then going on to the Buffalo Bills and also the San Francisco 49ers. But when I really started talking with him personally myself was at that Las Vegas trial. I was the correspondent for his Las Vegas trial. It was kidnapping. It was armed robbery. Uh, I think people thought of it sort of as a funny thing, a joke, but the courts in Nevada thought of it as very serious. Bro, I don't get it. You're such an L person. Yeah. Get us on dig out of your mouth. No, you're the you're the W man's bro. You're the W man's for coming in here and <laughs> trying to start fights with uh, people in this community. Yeah. Yes because the potential was decades in prison, but every day I would go Everybody to the courthouse. Everybody thinks you're cool, bro. And he was there, he was on bail, so he would just be in the hallway, he would be in the gallery, he'd be talking to people. Once he found out that I was from Southern California. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, she seems like she's glazing OJ a little bit right now. Not even a little bit, a lot bit. What's going on here? It's like, yeah, he was great. He was so great. He was the best. He was the best. He was so good at getting away with it, okay? California, and I was a USC graduate. He wanted to talk to me all the time because his passion was football. His passion was USC. He loved it, and he was very... He wasn't nervous about it. Bro, he has some other passions too, man. What the f***? Yo! He has some other passions too. Perhaps more prescient ones. Perhaps... Oh some more important passions yo how did they find this woman she's like i'm in deep mourning today as a wonderful football player for the usc passes away alongside his friends and family don't look at anything else he might have done what was happening at that trial although the evidence was not good uh, against him, and he was ultimately convicted on all counts and all of his cronies. It was all his golfing buddies, and they. If you watch a docu, you'd get it. I don't think you understand the context. Why people loved OJ so much. He was like the biggest black celebrity. Wait, yeah, I guess maybe that's the reason. Do you think he did it? Yes. There are so many OJ Simpson documentaries. He also didn't do it. Also, he wrote the book with this title. Yeah. Dude, this is, you don't understand. This is obviously, bro, this is definitely, definitely uh, the type of person who, who didn't do it, okay? He was the first big anti-black celebrity. I don't think he was the first anti-black celebrity. I think you mean he was the first big black anti-black celebrity. <laughs> like, I, I think that's what you meant. Because there was definitely a lot of big celebrities that were super racist before O.J. Simpson. <laughs> um, anyway, I didn't do it. And you can find out more about how I didn't do it in my new book, If I Did It. That, yeah, I did it. 
Have you never heard the I'm not black emoji line? No, I have. I have heard that line. The Goldman family has rights to publish this, I think. And so that's why the book cover looks like this. Not a big OJ fan, but it's going to be wild watching Rittenhouse defenders get mad over any remotely positive OJ coverage this week. Oh, yeah, that's true. Rittenhouse defenders love the courts because they allowed Rittenhouse to walk free. But they hate the courts probably because they let a black man off on murdering a white woman, mind you. So, like... Because those guys are oftentimes operating on, uh, you know, on just white supremacist principles, that's like a really interesting situation. This short family guy clip about OJ verdict is actually pretty good. He joked about stabbing in journals on camera. You have to see it. Yeah. Okay. Listen, are you out? Peace, bro. Are they in the house? Okay. I'm just going to let, uh, I'm going to let uh, Kaya roam if they are. If they're not, I'm going to bring her in here. Actually, you know what? Kaya, come here. Place. Place. Good girl. So many OG links in the chat. All right, let's finish this and then we'll watch one documentary. What had been his personal property, but it was owned by someone else at the time. Unfortunately, some of them had a couple of guns and so it became an armed robbery situation. But he just- Bro, she is, this is a glaze fest. I've never seen somebody glaze this hard, bro. This is some crispy cream ass glazing. Took it in his stride. But he was very nice to everybody, very humble to everyone. And everyone knew what he'd been through in California. Bro, are you allowed to blow bubbles on it at CNN? Even Wolf is looking at her like, this is a little bit much, don't you think? Bro, she is awesome. She is blowing bubbles on it. Oh my God. Dude, did, I heard people in the chat were saying he was the OG Rizzler. Like he was, you know, out of control with his Riz. But this goes beyond. I think he f***ed her, bro. There's no way. What the hell? What the hell? She is going crazy, dude. California and all the questions that remained about the murders of Nicole uh, Brown <coughs> Simpson and also um, Ron Goldman. But he was convicted on all counts. He was sentenced to 33 years in prison over three decades. He served it out in Lovelock, Nevada, which is uh, a, a northern, a, a central outside of uh, Nev uh, Reno, Nevada. And he served nine years and he was released. And I was there when he was released. Uh, as the Okay, bro, you, oh my God. Yeah, I was there when he was uh, uh, offering conjugal visits where I went and I glazed him up like a Krispy Kreme donut in a, in a way that is not dissimilar to how I'm glazing him up right now. Okay. I was doing exactly what I've been doing this entire hour, but physically in person while he was in prison. The correspondent for the network. And it was a very subdued thing, but he stayed in Las Vegas. I was smuggled Marlboro Reds into the prison by shoving it in my butthole and then popping them out at the conjugal visit so he could sell those cigarettes. Okay. These are the things I did for him. Um, it was pretty sick. Vegas, the next day, we heard he was golfing once again at home in Las Vegas. And that's where we believe he, uh, he stayed for the remainder of his life. But it, it, there were definitely two O.J. Simpsons. And now secrets are <clears throat> possibly gone forever because the murder of Nicole Brown, uh, Nicole Goldman, Nicole Brown and Ron Goldman. Uh, yeah, bro, she doesn't even care about the victims, dude. That's awesome. She just looks like, yeah, whatever. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> just a footnote in OJ's wonderful life. Let me tell you. Let me tell you how nice this guy is for literally five minutes. And she's like, eh, yeah, the, the victims. Who cares? Old news. Nobody cares about that. She talked about how he went to prison. He got sentenced for three decades. And... and, and made it seem as though that was like a much larger injustice than anything else. We may never know the real truth. The jury acquitted him in 30 minutes. We know that. So he was acquitted. But what really happened to the lives of those two people may forever become a secret. Dean, I want you to stay with us. I also want to bring in our CNN contributor, Bob Costas, uh, who's joining us right now. Bob, but what's your reaction? He's just like so like... He does have like murderer vibes too. Like, I don't know how to describe it, but there's, there's just some, there's some that always made me uneasy about the, 
the vibes that he puts out there. It, it was always weird. I don't know. To the death of O.J. Simpson, how do you think he will be remembered? And talk a little bit about the tremendous cultural impact he had as a player in the NFL, an actor, and as a criminal defendant. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, as great as he was as a player, and it's not enough to say he was a Hall of Fame quality player, he was one of the handful of greatest running backs in the history of college football and then the NFL. And he also had a quality that's difficult to define. And 2,000 rushing yards in a 14-game season? Yeah, I don't care about football, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> O.J. Simpson says he'll go crazy if all the golf courses are closed. How crazy we talking? 617,000 likes. 98,000 retweets. God damn, that was a banger. If you watch the reporter clip, all your assumptions will be justified. Yeah, here. This is the clip that y'all want me to watch. Hold on. Where the fuck is it? Where the freak? Where the freak is the clip? Uh, do, 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 do. Shut that off. Don't care about that. Oh, here it is. Always thought it'd be absolutely the funniest thing if he actually didn't do it and just had the worst vibes of anyone on the planet. If you promise that you will not ask me another question about the case, I will never ask you again. We won't have to talk about it anymore. Just did you do it? <laughs> no, I didn't. Nope, did not do it. After we finished filming, bro, bro, he, come on, come on, bro, come on, bro. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Keep going? No, I'm already locked in at that point. I don't even need to see more. Keep watching, I will. But let me tell you, that's all I needed to see. I mean, OJ said to me that uh, he had a surprise for me, and I genuinely was surprised. I think it was his idea of a joke. And this is it. Well, if you promise. <laughs> Yo! Yo! <laughs> Oh, 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 I've never seen that before. No, man, that's crazy. He really is not black, but OJ, I'm sorry. That's like, dude, 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 we're talking about like a more racist time in American history. Like, it's not like we solved racism now. You know what I mean? Think about how much more racist it was in the 90s. And this dude is doing this to a white woman on television? Are you out of... There's no way, bro. It's just like... To be fair, it was funny, just not the way he thought. It's just like... This is crazy, man. This is his idea of a joke. We've got to run it again. And this is it. Oh, if you... I... I... <clears throat> Yeah, I got nothing. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I got nothing, dude. I have nothing for that. I am actually... I started making weird noises because I have nothing to say. I have nothing to add on to that that hasn't been told by that perfect clip. That's... I... Oh, my God. I... I wow. Okay. Wow. Wow. <clears throat> one of the three alternative theories the son oj and al did the murders together or, or the yakuza whom the jews owed money to why would the yakuza take care of a problem for oj why would they help him out dude i just oh my god i i genuinely don't know what else to say today i think i'm i'm packing it up that's it for me today boys okay that's just Fuck it, dude. <laughs> like, that's so insane. That's so insane. Okay. Statistics alone don't capture it. He was wonderful to watch. And he was always gracious with the press. He was outgoing. He was not just admired. Bro, now they got Bob Costas glazing him. What is happening? Dude, why is everybody glazing this guy? ...but beloved. And then to your point about being a cultural force, this is all prior to the murders, he was... If not the first, he was the first to do it in a big way. An African-American athlete who broke through. Um, he used to say, I may have the quote incorrect, I'm not black, I'm not white, I'm OJ. 
uh, and part of that was almost exemplified by a little stereotypical <clears throat> blue-haired lady saying, go, O.J., go, as we ran through the airport uh, in the rent-a-car commercials. Uh, and there were zillions of other commercials. And, and as Jean uh, outlined in her piece, or as the piece that preceded Jean coming on outlined, uh, the name. I feel like I feel like there's something weird about news media where they're this is like training. You know what I mean? They're they're training for when like Dick Cheney dies. You know what I mean? Seriously, like they're so on automatic mode when it comes to glazing up someone who did a murder. Like they're so good at glazing up dudes who've done wrong, dude. I swear to God. People always talk about like, oh, this is an Illuminati humiliation ritual or whatever. No, dude, the real ritual is just like, do a bad thing. Be famous, do a bad thing. The media will glaze you when you die. Okay? That's it. Like, do a bad thing. Be super famous. Before you do the bad thing, the media will glaze you when you die. In memoriam. I swear to God. It's like they have to do it. They have to do it. If OJ had not done it, okay, and spent the rest of his life doing activism... They would not glaze him like this, okay? They just have one mode. They just openly, openly are just like, oh, yeah, have you done murders, gruesome murders, horrific murders, and then got away with it, and also were pretty famous? Guess what, dude? Turns out um, we will do a in memoriam. And it's so odd. <clears throat> anyway. Naked on movies were countless television appearances. The movie stars to laugh. Everything, everything about him people feel it more or less uh there were pockets of the community and i remember brown and i talked about this he didn't dislike oj but he had a path bob costas's phone is dying right now because he's calling in from a landline old ass certain racial issues so there was that but by and large it was one of the most popular not just athletes, one of the most popular people in the United States. I didn't know him well when he was playing football, predated my time, and then eventually we wound up being colleagues for four or five years on pre and post game shows around NFL football on NBC. And he was a hail fellow woman. The kind of guy that remembered the name of the kid who brought coffee when you first got on the set to everybody. Uh, willing to show up at charity events, good company yeah. at dinner or, or on the golf course, all those things. And everything changed in, uh, in June of 1994. Uh, and regardless of what he did that in his life, the first thing will come to mind those people. What happened subsequently? Subsequently, the murder themselves, uh, the low speed case was covered. Dude, what the f I can't believe CNN posted this. It's crazy. This shit sucks, bro. I think these people have to do this because they only have one black friend. Wait, what? <clears throat> I mean, dude, I don't think... I don't think our generation has strong opinions on this. They don't give a fuck at all. What do you mean? That's a weird take. Like, at most, it's like, yeah, he did it, but, you know, we get one. Is, is the meme, usually. I don't think, I don't think nowadays people give a shit at all. Most people under the age of 35 or let's say 30, it seems like most people under the age of 30 just know him as like a guy who probably definitely did it and they don't really care, which is understandable. I mean, we meme about 9-11, you know what I mean? You clearly don't understand American millennials. We have OG to blame for, uh, uh, blame for giving us the Kardashians too. Yeah. Hassan, I do not know why this happened, but in fourth grade, the teacher rolled the AV TV to broadcast the Simpson trial verdict to us live in class. That's so awesome. God, I love America so much, dude. I, man, I love America so much. It's crazy. That is such a crazy thing to do. That's so sick. Oh, I swear to God, it's the best goddamn country on the planet. It is so brain broken. It is so nutty and I love it. The principal announced it over the intercom in, at my elementary school? What the f- What the f-